With the increasing availability of 3D printing in everyday life, engineers and manufacturers need the capability to model and alter their 3D scanned data. To answer Space Glam's facet toolkit add-on, users now have an array of tools they can work with to alter and prepare their model for physical printing. Utilising a separate 3D solid as the control volume, we can merge and subtract bodies to better represent the physical features of the scan data and save money on waste and unusable prints. We can now further refine our body sizing using the shrink wrap tool. Let's dive even deeper with a model's secondary size. Perhaps you have aspects of your model that need to be respected. Selecting boundaries for the secondary size allows certain features of that original CAD to be transposed onto the final faceted model, give you an accurate and clean scanned representation. Like with all space glam tools, if you're not sure how to proceed, simply follow the easy to read instructions at the top of the modeling window. Once complete, click the green tick to complete your actions. Now let's take your model one step further and smooth out some of those more rigid facets. The Smooth tool provides us with two options, Local and Approximate. Using the Local Smoothing option lets the user define the limit between facets, causing everything above this to be pushed out. The Approximate method, on the other hand, physically adds facets to the model in order to round off those sharp corners and edges. Let's make some more changes to this model. Say you've run your simulation and now you want to optimise or alter an aspect. Let's use some of the ideas mentioned before and change the size of these bolt holes. Using the already defined facets we can create solid geometry like cylinders to allow cutting off or addition to the faceted body. Through the pull tool, we can alter the radii of the four solid cylinders. The subtract tool allows users to remove a section of the faceted model using solid geometry as the cutting object. Let's choose to keep the cutting tool for now. We can use this later to ensure our next shrink wrap respects these cylindrical faces. Taking this method further and using our knowledge of the merge and subtract tool, we can completely rebuild the original central channel with solid bodies. Once again, we use the subtract tool, remembering to keep the cutter to remove the solid cat from the faceted body. Now we can shrink wrap and smooth, this time using the new solids we created for a secondary size. As you can see, within a few minutes of using SpaceClaim's Facet Toolkit add-on, we can take an unusable piece of faceted data, prepare it for printing, and then proceed to modify the original features according to a new set of outcomes. Regardless of your approach, the range of tools available to a user to work on a faceted model is second to none, and with only a few clicks of a button, you'll have a clean, ready-to-print 3D model for your organisational studies.